Okay, everyone. Welcome to the yeah, Wild Pod. Kick us off, Betsy. I'm Betsy. I'm Jared. And yeah. we have with us today Moon Spelling. She's our yes. favorite. She's our favorite co-host. Yes, yeah, she's she's our. Uh, she is a local uh, terror reader, medium, um, all around lady about town. <laughs> Woman of the night. <laughs> oh, don't say that. In bed by nine, <laughs> Just not late tonight. <laughs> but yeah, but so, um, I'm going to hurry up and adjust this, but. Welcome to the show. Man. How about, Betsy, how about the news that has been uh, coming out as of late? Oh, what have you got? Have you been following? Have you got a story you want well, us to cover? Uh, no real stories for us to cover, but they did an, another release on the oh. JFK CIA files. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to thumb through those. I haven't either, and it is just so, uh, bu- 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 how do and, I put this, and, muddy. And some people are like, oh, this is it. This is. Yeah. It's just enough to like, look what we're doing over here. So you don't see what we're doing over it here. Could be. That's what it feels like because it does. there's nothing of substance that I've read. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is. It, it's all of it is just so. Um, Got to look around a camera th- thing, but it's just so. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I a hundred percent believe that. Members of our government at the time had something to do with it. Uh, easy. A hundred percent believe it. Are they ever going to come clean? Like really clean? Not a chance. Not a chance. No chance in heck. Now, if Elon is ever elected president. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what about the... Okay, the Twitter files, they got released, the right? Tw- the Twit files, yes. Which shows us that the government <gasps> what? has had people inside these. And then another... Uh, it is Mockingbird. Someone Next else, level. Yes, it is. Someone else wrote a, a news story that laid out how many um, uh, officers are in each uh, organization and actually names them. Yeah. And it is, it's freaky. Oh. So do you think that when I read things like this, I always wonder, like chicken egg theory, do you think that they hired these people to work for the government and then sent them out like that crazy cult to like (laughs) infiltrate these businesses? Or do you think that they just noticed who was in these positions and they're like, hey. Uh, you wanna, honestly, you want to be a double agent with us? I would kind of lean towards um, God assigned there. That's what I would lean towards. They placed them there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I it's the only that, way to get real allegiance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is like to be first, you know, tied into the government and then. 100%. It's just a cult. 100. It's just another cult. Yes. Uh, well, that's like when we read about the finders. Yeah, that's I what mean, I'm saying. The cult. The the leader of the finders, uh, what was his name? Uh, Petty. He was ex-Air Force something or another. His, his old lady, CIA something or another. <laughs> his son, Air America. For those of you who haven't kept up yet, Air America is the real deal. You know. In the contraband? Yeah. 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 They were taking dead soldiers in Vietnam, dead GIs, and they would pack their cadavers with heroin and opium mm-hmm. and then fly them home saying, oh, we're just delivering the, you know, delivering them home for, you know, their final, burials, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, they land to the airport, they go in there, they pop the stitches, haul out their drugs, sell their drugs. And then, I mean... How that's a sick operation straight to hell. Oh, it is. It is extremely morbid. 
But how many times do we have to go through this with our government? All the times. I mean, well, look at what, I mean, you got Fast and Furious during Obama. That was kind of mm-hmm. our most recent fun time. Uh, you know, and then before Obama, I mean, we could go into George Bush for hours, but this is only a, you know, we're, <laughs> the year's almost over, folks. We've got to get to other stuff. <clears throat> and then you got Clinton and all the fun times he had. I mean, you know, he bombed a pharmaceutical company in the Sudan, claiming they were producing weapons there. It was the only pharmaceutical company in, like, Northeast weapons Africa. of mass destruction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the only one. It, it shut down pharmaceuticals in Africa for years. But it sure did take notice off of where he was putting his cigars in the afternoon. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Look over here. And that's here. what he did. Don't and then the next, watch what's happening over and here. And then the next time he goes to war in Kosovo. Mm-hmm. We'll never, we'll never be able to, because I believe that they sanction this information out. So the need to know policy mm-hmm. keeps enough people from knowing all the details, and very few in that elite position of knowing all the working parts. That there's no way to piece this together. No, you're you're right. Because hundreds of people know one right. little well, piece. Well, remember, remember how MK Ultra got caught. Mm-hmm. They had burned all the records. Except they forgot they had a finance <laughs> office in Building B. <laughs> the accounting took them down. That's yeah, right. they didn't <laughs> burn account. the accounting. Yep. And next thing you know, there's in 1975, the greatest year ever. They're doing a church pike commission hearings. For 20 years, 20 plus years, sometimes 30 years in some instances, they were subjecting citizens to crazy experiments. Mm-hmm. Some of, not just citizens, but some of their own agents. Yeah, some of their that own one agents. one guy just throw himself from a window. Yeah, well, that Canadian lady's still my saddest story. Yeah. She goes in for postpartum depression and they make her a vegetable trying to see how far can we take electroshock therapy. Yeah. It's insanity. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Elon, listen, I know that you're a cyborg. I, <laughs> I'm okay with a cyborg president. <laughs> Just come in, release all the stuff, release it all. <laughs> well, we can say cyborgs have smoked marijuana on the internet. That's right. Yeah, but it's, there's just, it, that's just craziness. And then you've got, I heard about a story, Betsy, this one's awful. No. I don't know if I want to bring it up. <laughs> oh, no. It's bad if you don't want to bring it up. <laughs> what is it about? So, some transgender ladies, mm-hmm. in order to comport closer with the gender they want to be, Okay. Once a month. Are experiencing pain. Take a laxative uh. to give themselves cramps. And then they take uh, the tomato drink mm-hmm. and freeze it in this little. No. There's these things that you freeze no. to put in your water. So if you want to freeze like Don't. a. <laughs> You're going there. What do they do with these? <laughs> No. <clears throat> you know what they do with them. They s- I, I knew you were going there. And it works with the lax. And then there's a whole Reddit page, and the one talks about how I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had bled all over my pad with the cramps. Now, that's laxative. You that's tomato needed juice. to go to the bathroom. So that's a V8. <laughs> and it is the highest form of... Of is it flattery. flattery? Is it? It is. <laughs> it's the highest form. You want, listen, you can have it. All right? We give it to you a <laughs> hundred per- free and clear. <laughs> we do not want it. Uh, it's it's all yours. It's there for the taking. All yeah. of it. Take it. I I just don't understand <laughs> why. Why would you why would they why would they why would you want to subject yourself to this thing? 
to the, the I mean the laxative alone and getting the cramps from the laxative. And then get up in the morning and hop on Reddit and talk about a blowout you had the night before. <laughs> now I do okay. It. Don't talk I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off the whole time I read it. <laughs> it was way over. It, 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 it can't be real. But they had pictures of the stuff they used. Oh, but still, it, it can't real. be real. Yeah. I hope it wasn't what was real. It? Some satire? I don't know. What's your source? It, it was just on a... <laughs> I first saw it on Twitter, so I looked it up. It was on Reddit. But Yeah. All right. Let's get out some... Highs and high lows. What's up, King? Uh, what's up, Lori? Hopefully, you guys are going to join us. Get your uh, get your cards read to kick off the new year. This is going to be our black eyed peas. Black eyes peas. How to black black eyed? Mm-hmm. I said it right you the first right, time. Yes. Oh, man, it's it. That is a tradition that a lot of people don't even know exists, oh. or they're thinking of the band. He's talking of the vegetable. Yes. Do you think the band named themselves after the vegetable, though? Perhaps. Chicken before the egg. I don't know. Anyway, so on New Year's, you eat black eyed peas. In Germany, I just learned this the other day, they make this cabbage uh, dish. It's kind of a red cabbage soup. Mm -hmm. I mean, all there is cabbage in it. It's It's like borscht. It tastes or whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but the, it tastes good. I had it, but apparently that's a New Year's tradition. With do you guys have a New Year's tradition? I know you don't eat black eyed peas. What's your New Year's t- tradition? Well, when I was married, it was black eyed peas. That's a southern and thing. I would suffer through them every first because. <laughs> well, how did you eat them? Just like open a can, have a spoonful. <laughs> like, what's your plan? Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. What else would you do with them? Like bake something? Yeah, I don't know. Put them in a Black soup. Black soup? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you uh, have any traditions, Moon? No, I don't. None. Every first, I started this a long time ago, and I regret it. I am required to make stuffed French toast. And do you know, I don't say, like, mum's the word. I don't say nothing. But they all remember? I, leading up to it, I'm just like, please forget. Please don't someone. And it never fails. One of my adult children is like, so what time is breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> so what is a stuffed French toast? Oh, yeah, that sounds delicious. It's a stuffed French toast with, like, cream cheese and homemade jam and, Yum. yeah. Okay, okay. And it's every year every year Uh, made it one time every so how do you stuff a french toast so the french toast is actually soaked overnight and then you put in like an egg white or an egg wash with eggs and milk and vanilla just like regular Mm -hmm. uh uh-huh but you use thick french bread okay and then you coat them in the morning in um pulverized or crushed frosted flakes Okay. And then you twice bake them, and then you make the stuff that goes inside them. So then they're kind of hollowed out, and you stuff them with the cream cheese jelly filling. It does sound good. Yeah. You may have a new tradition now. Oh, no. They (laughs) are a pain. (laughs) Well, I remember (laughs) that my... (laughs) Yeah. Moon, so what what time is breakfast? (laughs) Moon, what's your new tradition? I go to Betsy's. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's right. Well, I remember my sisters used to make pork chops, mm-hmm. and they would pour frosted cream flake of, pork chops, cream of whatever soup on top of. I can't remember all the uh-huh. details, but then they put frosted flakes on it, and it'd make a nice crust. They weren't uh-huh. bad, but when you first hear about it, you're like, you what? recoil. Mm-hmm. But it was really good. Frosted flakes make a really good breading because they hold up, and they're just sweet enough. And Without being overpowering, you can spice other spices that you can put other spices in there, and they balance uh-huh. out. Yeah, they were delightful. All right, a couple more hellos. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Christy. That everyone's saying hi back and hi, Moon. So let's get into some terror reading. Twenty twenty three. Don't say that, son of a bitch. I hadn't even thought about it. Yeah. So. 2023 overarching 
Do you normally do like yearly predictions for Ooh. a sign? Like overarching kind of like this is your What's your the longest year. what's the longest span you've done readings for? Well, yes, yeah, so I've done uh like New Year's readings where um each house represents a month. Uh-huh. And I go through and give predictions of what's going to happen during those months. During those months? Oh, that's kind of scary. Mm. Be like waiting for it. I know what's coming in February. Oh, so January's great. <laughs> February's great. Skip April. Just skip that April. <laughs> so you've been really busy. Which is fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, you can actually actually schedule readings with Moon. If, if you're, you know, if you're ever up to Willoway, um, yeah, what you do, you do, do phone is or over like internet? I do FaceTime reading. See, oh. you don't even have to be in Podunk, Utah. Yeah. But it's kind of yeah. cool to go in her office. She's got this scary ass uh, <laughs> voodoo doll that sits right next to you. My protector. And she says it's her protector. Um, I guess it'd scare any bad guys away. I mean, every time I go in there and see her sit down, I slowly squish over to the other side of the chair. One eyeball always making sure that thing ain't coming at me. <laughs> so with doing all of these, have you come across any readings where you were like, whoa, that one was rough? Oh, there's a lot of rough readings. I mean, people who... Slide in we just have a, lot a of little depression. bit. We have a lot. Slide of, in just a little bit. There you go. Okay. So a lot of readings are rough. They're hard. They're difficult. They're emotional. Mm. Mm. Any serial killers this past year? Just lay it out there. Well, she are came they in, in our midst? Yeah, we lay it out there. But we also talk about solutions. And I haven't had a client leave unhappy or dreading what was because happening. in most cases they already know it's a sh it's a shit show they know always <laughs> they're like and they're subconscious they know yeah i'm telling them they're everything like i tell them yeah she nailed that it is a, it is a shit <laughs> they show <laughs> they know it's already there <laughs> they know. <laughs> no one's like what <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> well uh Tell us what you've got here, because you were going to bring this yes. last time, and you didn't bring it. What oh, is this? Okay. So She's brought it before. Yes. This is her, what's it called? Well, it is my 12th house reading. It's my 12th house astrology reading. Um, the plastic disc, each house, it represents first house, second house, third house, all the way up to 12th house. And then the wooden disc in the middle has all the zodiac signs on and uh, the symbols. So okay. a while ago, there was this all this hype that they were adding a new Zodiac. Did they add a new Zodiac? No, it comes out every year. It'll come out in 2023. Every year it comes what out. What is it? We did not add a new Zodiac. Sign. Well, they, they, they keep saying that because the tilt of the Earth and the Earth is actually moving on its, its axis that that we've now got a new Zodiac or whatever. Wouldn't but then it have we never to drop hear. an old one to add a new one? And... Isn't it none of the zodiac signs are on the northern hemisphere? Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, well, they're astrological signs. They were written up from people who lived on the equator. And so I think all, all the zodiac signs are all, all like equatorial or southern hemisphere oriented signs. So the one that they say is new most commonly is this yeah, is it the snake Ophicius? it's not new it's always been there it's not a sign though okay. it just always comes out as being a sign all all right. Right. what what does it do what is i haven't studied it other no? than it comes out every year it's a serpent <laughs> it's yeah the snake <laughs> handler or something it's been suggested that as a 13th astrological sign mm. anyway interesting or i wonder if like how would it be you're cruising through life? I'm a Sagittarius. I know I'm a Sagittarius. Life is great. And then, bam, they pop a new one on me. Next thing you know, I'm a snake handler. <laughs> Shit. It just changes your, it disrupts your entire life. That's it'd right. Ruin it. It'd be like, 
It'd be like Mercury's. You wake in, up, shave your beard, yeah. start wearing pink. Mercury's in retro clothing. Tomato juice. And Venus. <laughs> tomato juice. We talked about how uh, to do it. I still, guys, I can't believe that story had me on the ground. <coughs> it was awful. <laughs> Just thinking about it. And the guy's writing, you know. Mm. Oh, I started. Had a blowout this morning. A blowout. Such a or, dude. What did they say? No, it didn't say a blowout. That's my word for it. Oh, such a dude. No. But they, they, <laughs> yeah. Something in my pad. I was like, oh, oh. you shit the bed. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. And it's runny. And it's yuck. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we best get on with the show. So you've also brought two decks of cards. What's the difference between these two decks? Here, slide them up in here into the camera so people can see how gorgeous they are. So So that's the deck you you most often use. That's kind of your your favorite deck? Yes, that's my favorite deck. Slide it a little bit to the left. Well, here, I'll just expand so people can see it. (laughs) She's like, where is the camera? (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll uh, okay. we'll just adjust this. So that's your favorite deck, and what is this? Is a new deck, or have you been using this deck as well for a long time? I've been using this deck for a while. It's the Nefertari deck. Nefertari. Okay, uh, it's kind of you... Egyptian looking. It's Egyptian. Yeah, Nefertari was the light of Egypt, King Ramses' two favorite wife. Okay, okay, okay. Is that the one that's on, uh, what's the show with Brendan Fraser in the desert? The Mummy. Oh, I don't know. Is that the girlfriend? All I remember from that is the bugs. I'm going to be completely honest. The only thing I remember from that show are those stupid bugs. I love that show. That was a good one. Okay. So, and then is this the same one? So, this is a Rider weight deck with all the traditional symbolisms that's the and kind of the most common deck a correct? beautiful gold right. gold outline it's there well they're both gold but that one's got a gold outline and this has gold inside the pictures oh, those are like holographic i know yes. they're gorgeous These are, waterproof. Oh. are they yeah oh they're so they're like that utah coin those are way cool so they're a, a kind of a are plastic. they hard to shuffle yeah they're so smooth because they're they're, really? they're like slippery. They are kind of oh. slippery, so that is hard. But they're very they shuffle so smoothly. Does anyone listening uh, want to volunteer themselves up for the first reading? Do you want to try shuffling it? Who would be the first tribute? The first tribute. <laughs> the Hunger Games. Come before us. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger Games of tarot. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we'll have Betsy sign up for the first reading. All right, I'm ready. Okay. You just need one question? Yes. What's your question, Betsy? Oh, Betsy Betsy got a nice. Land Rover. How long will that <laughs> thing run? <laughs> <laughs> Jared likes to tease me because he says Land Rovers always break down. The problem is I drive like Dad. It'll run forever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's still a Land Rover. <laughs> it's built in. It's English. Oh. All right. We got Betsy and then King... Uh, and then Lo- Betsy, then Lori, then King. All right. Are we asking about the Land Rover, really? I don't know how long you're going to keep this for. Oh, you better jump into looking at Toyota real quick. <laughs> you you may end up with some issues right away with it. It says Land Rover on it. But, uh, Land Rover, will, but we've cool. actually already talked about, like, in January, getting rid of it. So. Oh. <laughs> Okay. You I, caught I that right you away. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't know how long you're going to keep this. That's because your husband looked under the hood one day and closed the hood back up. <laughs> we got to get rid of it. <laughs> Honey, while you're at work tomorrow, will you give me a for sale sign at Home Depot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do have a real question. Yes, okay. go on. Not a Land Rover question. <laughs> funny, I find that so funny. This card came up. The chariot. <laughs> Will's. The chariot looks like if you a car, a, a Land Rover. Betsy driving around 
<laughs> yes. Look how shiny that card is, guys. That is beautiful. So my you real, should sell these. My real question is going to be thinly veiled. Oh. But um, the gist of it is is not engaging the right decision. Is not Ooh. engaging the right decision. Yes. yes. Can 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 she kind of think parts of a question? And have the tarot kind of guide her. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Because I've made a decision that um, it feels selfish to engage. And um, I want things to go smoothly for the other party throughout her life. So is not engaging the right decision? Because I question, like, is, is that... Being selfish, not engaging, because it's it would be hard. It's Those. going to be difficult. I don't see you not engaging, even though you may say you're not going to. You're here. You're the queen. You're the queen of cups. Do you see her start Emotional laying more love. cards out? Like she pulls the five and then 13, 27. <laughs> like the it's trailing deck. down. We're getting a TV tray to put next door to keep adding <laughs> cards to. Cause. Okay, so you see me not not sticking to that. Right. I see you wanting to nurture that little grand baby. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you'll be your normal self. You see how the emperor is female in this deck? Uh-huh. Make taking action. <sighs> yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of back you're and forth. You're going to struggle with it. Look, that's the thing. You are you're struggling with it, but it's so unfulfilling and you feel like you've let her down. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm. Good call, Terrell. Oh, damn, Good call. You damn you, come Terrell. Up, look what you, it even come up with the one. With the baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Yep, you called it. All right. Well, I don't know. Should we start a Deadpool on this, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, let's go through a couple comments, and then uh, Lori wants to have her cards read. And while we wait for Lori to kind of ask the question, we'll uh, read these comments. I believe we were talking about food. Oh, King, uh, they smuggled a lot of heroin, talking about Air America. Nothing will ever be let out because the government had a part of it. That is true. Another thing I've been studying is called bad brew. Ooh, that's a freaky one. Uh, <laughs> Lori, did you have a blowout after the peas? <laughs> <laughs> the black eyed peas. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. King says he likes cream cheese. Every, uh, you should. It's almost a must. <laughs> and, uh, he never got the deal with applesauce and yeah. pork chops. It's very common to chef, for chefs to pair applesauce with pork chops. Is it really? Yeah. They've got a really high acidity rate, and pork chops have a really low pH. And so the two pair really well together if you like applesauce. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So here's the list. First, we've got Lori, then King, then Christy. Okay. Lori asks... How is my business going to fare this year? And King, type in your message for the next one. Okay, so Lori, to be just to be um, clear, you're talking 2023, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. How is her business going to fare in 2023? She's got a hell of a shuffle. She could be out there in Wendover in a green blazer. <laughs> oh, boy. They're laying more out. Yes, more. It's going on a walkabout. <laughs> okay. So are there some things that you want to do with your business and you, you, haven't, you haven't been doing these things? Are you seeing missed opportunities? Yeah, some, like getting some help or putting something into the business. She says yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay. Well, I mean, 
So your business has all the ability, you have all the ability to make your business work and be very successful, but the things that you want to put in place, put some of them in place, start working towards the action. Because really, I, the magician came up, which is a very, uh, a lot of abilities, but there are no wands here. There's no action. So there's a lot of thought with all the swords. Um, and the one wand that is here is awaiting, planning, but you keep planning. It's time to move now. Your movement, what you do this year, is going to really affect your business. Mm. You there, got that, Lori? There you have it. All right. So you do have a blue guy. That's the magician. This is the, yes, the magician. Yep. The blue I guy. I uh, kind of see it. Here we can put it in front of this camera. So you can see that's the one she was talking about. All your abilities. You have several, many. Yeah. All right, Lori. Okay. Any other questions from Lori? Any follow-up on that? Just go ahead and shoot it in. Right now, we'll go with Kings. She says, oh, cool. Thank you. All right, Lori. So you got to get busy on your plans. Ooh. Make your plans a uh, reality. Yes. That's what the magician does. That's right. The magician. Yes. I should have painted myself blue. <laughs> King says, my father is having a cornea, cornea eye transplant on February 1st. I want to know, will he be able to drive and do the stuff he used to do before? Mm, so how's his old he, man? Once he heals. Yeah. Yeah. Cornea transplants are no, they're no joke. What is uh It's in the eyeball. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it all has to do with. I just know that you'll have to put me under to touch my eyeball. Yeah, they... The cornea transplant... They're doing them more frequently now, but it's still a pretty major mm -hmm. surgery. Uh, okay, so I feel he's going to do pretty well, but he will be held back from things that he likes to do. And it, driving, I feel, is one of them. Is that what the crocodile riding the hippopotamus yes. lion means? <laughs> That's, yeah, like all this kind is, of uh, just things holding For those back. of you watching, see, crocodile riding a hippopotamus lion. <laughs> a lionopotamus. A crocodile with a, with a heck of a ponytail. Kind of some saggy breasts. But anyhow, <laughs> tell me that isn't so. Those, it is, are, it is those so. are National Geographic worthy. Yes, they are. <laughs> the Aboriginal. This one, when you describe what it looks like. <laughs> well, how would you describe it? Yes, just like you did. Like a crocodile. <laughs> We're going to go with your de definition. It's riding really the hippopotamus one. lion, Serengeti. And the you know, lions are on the Serengeti, so it makes sense. Okay, so he's going to be held back a little bit, King. A bit, but it, it really does look positive, especially with the magician again. So that means the magician, the blue dude, that means, uh, would that mean, like, effort put in and good things will come out of it, right? Right, and then the, the king of, the king of, of swords, like, is, is your dad kind of like someone who really doesn't allow things to hold him back he's very uh action oriented moves forward kind of ornery <laughs> king of swords king of swords okay he says uh his father's been dying to drive oh and yeah. he holds for that's it. freedom for a lot of people oh yeah really losing is. the ability to just go as you please or have mm -hmm. to depend on others um is isolating Oh, very much so. And forget walking, death before dismount. Um, that's my... Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> he says, yes, that's my dad. All right. Yeah. If, if nothing else, um, I believe that um, being ornery and sassy takes us places. Exactly. So. Exactly. Mm. So um. Sometimes we overcome things with sheer will and determination and some anger sprinkled on top. Very true. Very true. Very true. So I have Our, another one. Ooh, yes. Will... Christy, shoot us your question. Yes. Will things smooth out in my relationship in the near future? Okay, let's say it's in the been, next six months. Yeah, next six months. It's been pretty choppy 
on my end. It doesn't look like it's going to. It's still going to remain pretty choppy. Over the next six months, it will be choppy. Although, judgment, with pulling that and that being the last card pulled, I feel things are going to change and will get better for you. But Just not in six not months. Not in six months. Oh, okay. There's a lot of you sticking up for yourself, your boundaries. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Mm. Okay. Because part of that first question um, and part of the reason I haven't engaged is because I've really just made a decision this year that if, if you are toxic, I just don't have space. And engaging means I have to engage with that again on some level. Mm. And I was, you know... Well, you've been protecting yourself a lot this last year. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Not doing a good job at it, but I have been trying. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of leave myself open for... Is she doing a good job just being hard I think she's doing a better job than she was two years ago. Sure. Sure. I'm growing. I'm learning. Yeah. 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 It's not like you're... 45. Chris, yeah. A little bit late. Coming up on 46. (laughs) One day I'll learn. Yeah. Yes. So Christy says business also, please Ooh. and thank you. She wants to know how her business will fare. All right. Your tarot Christy. business? Yes. Yes. Oh, let's see what just flipped. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> New reading. <laughs> so uh how would you like to know how your lawn's gonna look next year? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this looks really good, Christy. Yeah, you got the naked chick that's doing the <laughs> over under the blue guy and the other lady dancing. <laughs> I should explain all the cards. You got a chariot. Oh, starting to run out a little more. Lady with a knife. <laughs> uh, there is uh, 10 cups right there. And then you have the sun expressing vitamin D upon <laughs> your person. Vitamin D, right. Take vitamin D. So what does it mean? Okay, so the sun, like that, that is one of the most optimistic cards in the entire deck. So it's, and it's right next to the Ten of Cups. So Mm. emotionally, this company, your tarot company, your tarot business is emotionally so good for you. You you shouldn't stop doing it. And I enjoy watching it. It's a good, it's a good uh, little Facebook program. When I catch it and it pops up, I like sitting there and hanging out. The chariot, you're very determined, um, and the world, which is like the uh, cycle ending and a new cycle beginning with your business. But uh, this is all very good. I feel your business is going to do really well. Mm, good. And for anyone wondering, it's called uh, what? Coffee and Cards with Christy, right? Yes. I mean, it's Coffee and so. Cards with Christy. Yes. Christy, you'll correct me on that. But yeah, <clears throat> Coffee and Cards with Christy on Facebook. She does Facebook Lives. Um. Yeah, jump on there, watch him. You there may be someone me. though that's kind of irritating you. Oh, you married? <laughs> <laughs> look, Mel. look there first. <laughs> it's usually where it lies. No. Mm. <laughs> it's a king too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, darling mm-hmm. husband, get him a hobby. Oh. So let's do Jared's upcoming year oh jared's upcoming year how about uh, yeah we could do the business side of it or no uh, we've got to go personal why big things on the horizon i'm dating someone now everything's all in place we don't need to mess with that anymore (laughs) 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 no see this the spread we'll we'll talk about everything okay oh we're gonna do the the wheel of uh the, the wheel of uh fate future the yes. will of, here's what you got going on. Yeah, but the, uh, I'll come up with a cool name. Give me some. Well, I mean, the thing is, uh, like, it, it's going to 
talk about everything. Okay. First, before we go into that, okay. which house goes to which sign? Well, Aries rules the first house. Oh, so Aries, the god of war. And then you've got uh, Taurus. Is that what that is? Yep. The god of girlfriends that throw stuff at you when they're mad rules the second house. <laughs> Gemini, uh, the bipolar, rules the third house. <laughs> and then you've got Cancer. You know, we don't need to go any deeper on that. Rules the fourth. Leo rules the fifth. Virgo rules the sixth. Uh, Libra. And then what's the next one? Scorpio. Scorpio. That's our sister, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. She I knows. love I love when you talk about Scorpios because so on the money. And dead on the money. And then you got Sagittarius, yours truly. We're in the ninth. I'm house. in the cusp. So right on the cusp, January twentieth. Between it Capricorn and, uh, and Aquarius. So yeah. sometimes I pull up a horoscope and it says that I'm I'm Those Aquarius. are two water signs, right? Some no. it says I'm They're Capricorn. Not? Neither of them are. Well, Aquarius is the water bearer, but it's an air sign. And so a Capricorn's a, a Capricorn's a seahorse. How are they not water signs? Well, it's an earth sign. Capricorn is an earth sign. It can go. Yes. A sea They're goat. both water the animals. Sea goat. Like I would think water, water, water. I mean, that's <laughs> obviously two fish making laps. <laughs> and then earth, earth. Gemini's crazy person. <laughs> That's a lobster, so water again. Uh, Leo, obviously an earth sign. Come no, on. Virgo Leo's is a fire sign. Oh. Fire. So, See. what would you say? How would I figure out what I am? Because sometimes I relate to Capricorn, and sometimes I relate to Aquarius. Well, you're both. You have both in you. You're right on the cusp, and that that's really usual to have both traits. Okay. Mm. Okay. So maybe you're like the wormhole. So I, I read them so, both and then I go, you don't make sense. So what it is, I'm is you're you. a wormhole between these that makes you one of those. <laughs> I, yeah. But you could be like a very Aquarian in, say, taking care of people, humanitarian. Mm -hmm. But you're more Capricornian when you are in charge, um, when you're making goals. Hmm. Planning okay. an awesome party with fun games. Party planning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though, which one of them is an introvert? Oh, they both can be. Yeah. Because sometimes Aquarius. I'm like, I want to be an introvert. Well, that's what Aquarians do. They want to party. They want to save the world, but they need to have their alone time. You need to be alone. You can't yeah. be with people all What the is time. Grace? Uh, Grace is a Libra, I believe, October 15th. How is my daughter. Oh, okay. Is she a Libra? October fifteenth. October fifteenth. She is. She's yeah, she doesn't people well, and she'll tell. She'll straight up tell you in the middle of the party. She doesn't Good night. people for long. I'm done peopling. Yeah, she's like, time to pop smoke. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no argument from her. She's no. not mad. Mm -mm. Not depressed. She's just like, well, that's just good. Done. Yeah, I'm tapped out. Okay, so let's do a Jared reading. We're doing the full reading, right? Yeah, what, the, what, everything. how does this work? How okay. do you set this up? Uh, well, since you want a year, like mm. next year, the houses will represent the months. The oh, okay. So this will be, instead of like a what's going on. So it's on, a 12 card This will be like. Then. Yeah, it's a, well, the, I'll, I'll pour, I will pull <laughs> way more cards than 12. Okay. Oh, yeah, she'll hit a, a weak I'll spot. I'll pull them all. And then she'll have to do. Then she'll like, have to move to this deck. She'll have to be like in the middle of sorry, where you take the disposal <laughs> deck. <laughs> okay, so one is going to represent January to February on through. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Let's see where I'm at. Okay. And while she's shuffling, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to shoot them out. We will gladly uh, read through them. Oh, oh, it's a beetle. Oh, look at that. I got Bugs. the bug. And the lovers together. I got a bug lover. He loves bugs. <laughs> the and, beetle. 
It's a dung. Oh, it's the beetle from the show. It's the dung beetle. I don't think that was the beetle on the show we were just talking about, but on the mummy. Yeah, but they look like that, and they're gross. Yep. So same thing. They're same. called cherubs, aren't they? I don't know. Oh, she's drawn more. Okay, so there's a guy down there pushing Holly. crocodiles with a stick, and then a naked lady with a thing on her head <laughs> and a feather. <laughs> Which January looks like it's going to be a good month for you. A good month. All right. Very I like balanced, the sound of that. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start turning your way and changes, faded changes coming. Which the first card I pulled was an Ace of Cups. So that's love. That's the Beetle? That's the Beetle. Oh. You hear that, folks? It's the love bug. <laughs> the love bug. <laughs> I love <laughs> All right. So. And uh, so January's a good month. January looks like it's going to be good. All right. All right. Does it tell you, like, give you an idea in what facet of life I should expect the goodness? Love. In love. Okay. All right. Ace of Cups, the first card. All right. So January. Okay. Well, I already got a girlfriend, so. That's probably Check. Maybe she'll come more girlfriend-ish. Check. Okay. We, yeah. Look, <laughs> should we pull cards on that? I think we should. Oh, uh, no. The devil's on the bottom. Is J- is Jared going to take it to the next level? In the next, should we say, three months? Yeah. Is Tick- he there, Captain or Evil? six months. TikTok. <laughs> three I, months? I'm not ready to make TikToks yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing three months. Now, these cards are... Just the cards themselves. I can hear how smooth they are to shuffle. Yeah. And they just look glorious. Like they're they're just such a shiny, golden, beautiful. Okay, so I got God holding the okay. pentagram. Ah, look, okay, there's a dead yes. knight. He's gonna look, central card, two of cups. He will take it to the next level in the next Oh three boy. Months. Oh, it might be why January's so happy for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I'm down with the sickness. Okay. But right. look, the, the bottom card, Page of Wands. What does that mean? That's like uh, fun, uh, optimistic. Okay, well, I am fun and optimistic. Oh, and, yeah, it's the fire sign. All right, good, good. And I'm a, what is Sagittarius? Is that a fire sign? Yes. All right, I'm he, a fire he, sign. He stands for uh, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, all the fire signs. And you know we're all fun. So what are you? <laughs> I'm Sagittarius. Okay, so we're all fire signs. Yes. Well, Betsy is an air sign. Betsy. Yeah, a, both and, of them are air sign, right? Aquarius and Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn is an earth sign, and Aquarius is an air sign. Okay. Oh, so you're a windy earth. I am. Windy Blowing earth. dust. Or <laughs> <laughs> fart through dirty jeans. <laughs> yes. Okay. What's okay. February looking like? February, isn't that? Okay, so February, you're going to have a big decision to make. Life-changing. The lovers. That's, I'm, I'm getting about. Oh. Look, something you've kind of been waiting on for a long time or thinking about for a long time, but the lovers uh, is, a, is a major decision in life. And then uh-huh. it leads to this. Ace of, here we go with another wand. Ace of wands. I'm buying a Bugatti. Fun, exciting, new <laughs> things coming. Okay, okay. Fun, exciting, new things. All right, The all first right. two months look good for you. Good, good. Let's we'll stop there, everyone. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We're done. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. What's month three look like? March. Okay, all right. Got a magician. March looks like some issues coming. Oh, okay. It could be something with love. Okay. All right. So, or a baby. Just, and you know what? It's the three of swords. It's not a major. So it's some pain, maybe some loss, but it's something that can like be worked st- through. Stub my toe on a brisk it's morning. It's something to do with a female. This doesn't necessarily mean that it is stub my your pinky girlfriend, toe. but it usually does come up for a oh. girlfriend. But it could be your sister. It could be okay. any female in your life. Okay. So I'm going to stub your toe. So what I'm going to do is I'm <laughs> going to save up and send you all on a month-long vacation. 
in March. 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 Yeah. She'll be going on vacation. You're going to have to take grandma with you, too. <laughs> all the females. <laughs> Just all of them. Big masculine around here. <laughs> <laughs> Smell that testosterone. Okay. Okay. March, I'm not too pleased with that kind of nervous looks like it's gonna be a little bit difficult. okay march is gonna be a little bit difficult especially because the first card six of wands is such a great card it's moving forward it's on a on your journey that you've planned so you may have to plan something else okay all right okay plan b plan b in march b F. <laughs> oh no, we're into Roman stuff now. <laughs> so April. Okay, April. Are you going to wait? Do you usually wait until the last minute to do your taxes? Oh, do I? Hey, do you know him? Have you <laughs> met him? Hey, I got the alligator ride the hippo lion. Mm-hmm. Lion apotamus. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's just like. And I got. Uh, He's the, the tower. He's the world's biggest procrastinator. Uh, no, I am not. Easily. Second. Uh, only to dad. <laughs> uh, see? It's a trait. It's a genetic mutation <laughs> that can be found in the hey. Anderson line. We call it Anderson Standard Time. <laughs> <laughs> it's on its whole different level. Hey, I was late to our Christmas party because our sister <laughs> wanted Sent me to you buy to some the liquor store. I was like, "You're evil." Yeah, I stood in line for an hour there. Yeah, I'm surprised holding you got on, in. Holding on to a uh, one bottle of one, banana liqueur or whatever it yeah. is. Uh, yeah, Amber says it's great. All right, if you say so. Okay, so now we're in May. Okay. <sighs> So April Tower moment, this is going to bring down those things that need to come down. So the things that are having issues here are going to get solved there one way or another. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Right. She's all. There's going to be some setbacks, but she will oh, resolve. That damn alligator riding the lion apotamus showed it's up. your favorite card. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> National Geographic card. <laughs> I want to get a poster of that. <laughs> exactly like that. Tell me that's not a lion apotamus. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is a lion apotamus. I, yeah. I, I mean, it is. And he's got the gator cruising on top of him. It's like like an old Chinese psalm. Mm -hmm. Monkey on your back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Proverbs. Okay. <laughs> So right. now we have May. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so May, you know, this could be something to do with taxes, but May looks like you're going to need to make some type of a plan mm -hmm. with finances. Oh, yeah. Okay. May, finances. All right. Sounds about right. I'd almost rather go back to girlfriend for troubles rather than deal with taxes, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> Can we just make one thing perfectly clear? Oh. Yeah. oh. So, May, there could be a lot of anxiety in May for you. All right. So, going to jail in May. Maybe jail it. because, yeah, there's a higher fat no. <laughs> And then June. right after that's the death card. I'm sure <laughs> that means this the, is June. So yeah, but but right after that one, look the death card. June. I know everyone always says the death card's good. Yeah, whatever. It can't be good. It's the death card. So well, June there are going to be some changes. That death card just it signifies transitions, changes. Ooh, am I going to dance with midgets? Well, you know, you, you, there's going to be some things that aren't clear. Some things that you need to work out. But this three of pentacles, I feel like you may be collaborating with somebody, two other people with business. Oh, okay. Okay. All two right. midgets. Two midgets. Yep. I'm starting a wrestling federation. There you go. <laughs> Midget wrestling. Okay. That's June. Okay. What's that? Huh? Kind of wrestling. Oh. They are. You know what? Maybe they're hitting themselves with newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Newspaper midget fights. <laughs> Roll up the papers. It's little people 
Let's not be offensive. Oh, you are correct. I, I'm so sorry, folks. <laughs> I apologize for my... Okay. All right. So, what's this, July? July. Okay. So, July, do you feel you'll go on vacation in, in July? I mean, it looks like it. There's all kinds of movement. Um, you, have you held vacation off for a while? Uh, yeah, and that one has fish in it, and that's what I want to that's do. That's what you look at that. You're going to go fishing in July. I want to catch a fish in every state. July's the month. July's July. the That's month. probably where all of the financial strife comes from. You're oh, trying to figure out to plan that. after to you've paid up. all your taxes, how do you afford to go fishing? And you'll find After I paid all my taxes, sold her for a couple of weeks, so she's pissed off. Then I got to apologize a lot. I got the alligator on my back. Back in, save money, changes made. Money. So what I did is I started going with single ply toilet paper to save <laughs> enough for that. There you that's go. Here, yeah, that may. Oh, that's a single. Yeah, that yeah. looks all them sharp things. That's single ply toilet paper right there. Yeah, that's scratchy. John Wayne stuff. <laughs> Lighthouse for the blind. <laughs> Okay, that's July. No fun in, in in May for you. Here, see the hierophant. He's not fun. Oh. Traditional, he's a, boring, straight edge. Yeah, he's a he's a green guy. I don't know if you can see him sitting there. And he packs a whip. Oh, is that going to be me? Yes, that's you. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> totally going to be abused by a green guy. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Mm. I don't know. The government beating you down. <laughs> it's the higher fact. Oh, <laughs> man. All right, all right. Okay, eighth house. Uh, this is August. Mm -hmm. August, okay. All right. August looks good. Okay. I okay. mean, there's, there's some minor conflicts. A lot of guys with sticks. <laughs> Which a lot of times this could be just like some competitiveness. Um getting things together, having a difficult time at, in the beginning. But then eight of wands, really nice, beautiful energy. And the six of pentacles, you're going to get help of something, someone, something. A horse? Is there, there will be some conflict, like I said, that five of wands. Is that that, but, person, standing, is that, that person standing on my head cheering? It could be that person. It could be this. Oh. With or from. Okay. The Knight of Swords. Okay. All right. That's August. So you went fishing or you saved for fishing. Uh huh. Save for Come fishing. Come back. Now it's back to business. This, you may have some conflict. Issue here, bums all raw from the single ply toilet paper. So driving around the country was not as fun. It's true. It's true. You have to sit a lot. Mm hmm. A lot of driving. Then you get there at the fishing chair, crack a beer. Sit down. <laughs> okay, September. September looks like a really nice. Yeah, it kicks off energy. with a naked lady leaning over me and a blue guy. Or am I the blue How guy? How that be wrong? Or am I the naked lady? Uh, I feel you're the person in the middle. Okay. Starting a new cycle and expansion coming in 401. So, you know what? September is going to be a really happy month for you. What is there in September? Do you have? Have things that come up in September. <coughs> I don't know. This this year to 2023 will be a really good September. Okay, so September. Lean on September. There's expansion there. There's okay. a new cycle starting, and there's celebration. All right. Love it. Going to have a baby? Is that what we're doing well, in September? kid right there. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably going to come in yeah. here any minute. You're in trouble. You could have something Well, what if it's not her? Child. What if it's Alex? Oh, I like that idea. Could, there's another child I pulled too. So, so what if Alex? Yep. Announces you're going to be a grandpa, Alex. Oh, I think that might happen. <laughs> that would be happy days for me, Alex. It's up to you, man. That would be happy days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Did you did you feel that when is that uh -huh. you, that's what like I was I thinking? I pulled the high priestess, and I I thought you are the high priestess, and then you said that. Yeah. Oh, I think I, I think that. I think you're ready for a grandchild. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> I'm Alex. way ready. <laughs> Believe me, Alex there. is trying though. 
he already told me, listen, if he if he can't make it happen, he's going to adopt. So yeah, I'm on board. Yep, he can. He, I mean, had agreed that. All right, what do we got in? Uh, what is that? October. October. October's traditionally my favorite month oh. of the year. The weather's just right. Halloween. Yes. I love October. October is the best month. But Perfect. you know what? This is cool because this is the Three of Cups, which signifies in tarot it is when the harvest comes out. It's when you celebrate it. Oh, it's okay. So we've received the Four of Cups so celebration, and it's already your funnest month. There's two ladies doing something. Okay. And a hawk. With a sword. Information. You'll mm-hmm. receive a lot of information during this month, and you will be cutting things out that make you, that you don't want to accept anymore. Okay. Okay. So I'll be shaving, shaving the fat. Shaving okay. the fat. So let's think of some things that can be gone. There's a lot. Look, there's some things. Vegetables. That you- <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're sauteed on a steak. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good that's vegetables let's stick with vegetables yes it's easy list to remember really folks <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's october november Ooh, our sister's birth month okay now october is our brother's birth month it was our mother's birth month gracie's yep grace uh some of October is Scorpio. Wait, when was your mom born? Mom was born on 12th. the 12th. Uh, yeah, the 12th. Okay, so she's a Libra. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was a Libra. Amber is a Scorpion. Got the little stinger. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out every once in a while. Just bite you. <laughs> and then she cuddles up all sweet and then does a kimchi quat, squat and smokes mm-hmm. a cigarette. I mean, she's really kind balanced. Of, it's, it's all about balance. balance. Yes. It's all about balance. Finding it. Yeah. Different every day. Mm-hmm. Okay. So 11th. Oh, well, this is November. Yep. Okay. All right. I got a lady oh, with wings. Oh, my goodness. In November. Now, is that a guy fitting him for a sarcophagus? Like a tailor or sarcophagus preparing tailor? Preparing him for the afterlife? Oh. It appears to be that, yes. Yes. It's, it's a rejuvenation. It's a rebirth. And why it's a can't, Scorpio card in November. Why can't they kick off with that and say, instead of saying, ah, death. No, it means change, but it's death. Oh. Something you know? dies. Something has to die to make uh, room for the yeah. new stuff. Yeah. You have to give up. And it looks like that's going to happen again in November. Um, but also look at this. The, there are three angel cards in the entire deck, and you received them both in November. Really? So I got the winged lady? Temperance. What her name is Temperance, but you're gonna really have to kind of balance yourself in November. Like, oh, that makes sense with Christmas and the holidays coming up. Oh yeah, like strength is all about maintaining yeah. composure and compassion and not getting angry. I feel like that's a lion tamer about to do the stick the head in the lion's <laughs> mouth trick. Fit These are day. all majors too. Oh, so I'm November's major in November. November's going to be a heavy month. Okay. So mind your P's and Q's. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth and wash your butt. (laughs) Yeah. All right. December. Okay. Birth month. The birth month in the year of our Lord. I get a rabbit beating up a snake. You're going to be tired and exhausted in December. Okay. Because I'm a rabbit beating up a snake. Because you're a rabbit trying to beat off snakes. Yeah. Look at that. I'm a rabbit. So very exhausted, tired in, in December. That rabbit's got some sharp teeth, though. Do you see that? It's like the rabbit on Monty Python. That is that is <laughs> the rabbit. The, the, uh, that snake should have brought the uh, the holy hand grenade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are too young, that is in reference or, to um, a very old movie. An outstanding movie. It's hilarious. Yes. Very funny. Mm. I tried watching it with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's not her speed. No. All right. Very cool. Yeah, so, so good. everyone. Good year ahead. I got, it's a pretty good year. Yeah. I mean, Have you read your own year? Not yet. You, do, you, do you do that usually around the turn of the year? Just kind of 
prep for whatever? I always pull cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like say you say day. you pull them like in the morning. You wake up, you pull cards. Mm-hmm. Mm. I leave them out. My morning cards are left out all day long. I go to my my shop and I pull cards every time I have a question. Hmm. I pull cards. That see, day. that's probably a good trick to have to kind of. Even if it's not going to give you answers, it might give you a tempo of how to approach, you know, what's going on. It does give you answers, though. Mm. Self-help tool. Tarot is a, such a wonderful self, self-help self tool. Mm. It helps you process everything and think about it. The symbolisms get into your subconscious. And then you'll just, you'll receive the answer, even if you don't receive it right then and there. You'll receive it. Like listening to a song or watching TV or going about your day, you'll receive an answer. So if you go get up in the morning and you're like, I am traveling today, and then you pull your cards and it's like terrible, do you just like, I'm not traveling I just stay today? stay home. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancel your flight. <laughs> no. Not going. But I am more cautious. And, and like when I pull the Ten of Swords, a lot of times I'll hurt my back. So I'm very cautious oh. when I pull the ten of swords. So that'd make for a, oh. and then when you're being careful, you probably end up hurting him because you're being careful. <laughs> like Don across the hall, hey, hey, help me pick this up. And, you know, oh no, no, I better not. I better not. I'm, uh, you know, it's a, one of those days, and then I you might look, get hurt. You look to the right too fast. Next thing, you go, oh, <laughs> all right, I'm coming. <laughs> Let's pull a card. <laughs> oh. mm. all right we got a few more comments um chrissy says thank you moon i can't wait for this new year yeah, i'm right. going to rock that business yes yes oh see christy's moon is pisces my moon is pisces too christy my moon is moon we only have one moon she's here yep <laughs> how, we how know what t- we know no other how moons. do you tell <laughs> what your moon is uh, I have an app that your moon is Aquarius and your rising. Yes. You don't know, remember your moon? I... So what does that mean? What does your moon reside over? Your moon is the, like how you process your emotions. Oh, no. It's all about emotion. Okay, mm. so what what does that mean for me? Aquarius, mm-hmm. you need a lot of alone time. You need to process your emotions alone. Some people might think that's cold or you're being cold, but you need it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do crazy things to get outside of my head because I spend an awful lot of time in there in full-on oh, conversations. But you're going negative, like, or is this yes. positive? It's no, going to. It's always negative. <sighs> Just, just to force yourself to think a ton positive. of space. Yeah, I got to get better at that. It's a, it's a pattern. Yeah, now you it need is. To break it's it. a habit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Lori has a question as well. Mm. After. Yeah, and I think King brought in another one. Your moon is Virgo. Oh, I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> You're Virgo the Virgin. Yep. Touched for the very first time. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna be singing that. <laughs> uh, it's called a brain no warm. Christmas song. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Yes, at least the Christmas I song is I think we should. So what does that mean for Jared? I think we if should break into like is... some '80s brain worms to help everyone out. We should. So oh what does that mean for Jared that his moon is Virgo? Moon is Virgo. Um, well, do you like things to be really organized? <laughs> yeah. The yeah, Virgos like to organize. <laughs> well, I, I like them to be organized. But they're organized. Do I organize you? them? Like, uh, you don't. No. I'm... No, he is very particular. About my meat. About a lot of things. Uh, probably <laughs> everything. <laughs> with mm-hmm. Moon and Virgo. But that gives you a lot of healing energy as well. And I know a lot of people come to you and talk with you. It's your mm. energy that feels healing and is healing to people. Hmm. And Virgo rules the sixth house of service to mankind, Hmm. which you're always helping people out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, That all lines up. But you're critical on yourself and others. Okay. (laughs) But it's because you want the best for everyone. But I'm correct, too. I mean, let's face it. (laughs) 
<laughs> but I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what Virgo mood. Yes, now, what does the sun too. sign do? Because I'm a Gemini sun. That's the the the. Oh, the no, this isn't you. This is June. This isn't you. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, that's a different Jared. Okay, so we'll go through a few more. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Wait, I don't have yours. Okay, so you know what? I had to. I got a new phone, and none of my charts moved over. Okay. So I will have to re-enter your chart. Uh oh. All right. So well, while we but we're going to check your sixth house because you do have a lot of the Virgo traits about you. Okay. Okay, so December 11. 11th. So King says, that's what my father's been dying to do. Drive. To drive. Yeah. I dig it. I, I hope he gets to drive too, King. Um, I know that's, uh, yeah. Oh, he also wants to know if I ever find. What time are you born? What's that? What time are you born? He looks at me. Um. I've got my book of remembrance, but I don't know if I've got the back to carry it. You didn't pull a ten of swords today, did you? Okay. Yeah. Did you hurt, hurt your back? Do you have that a, you're going to hurt? I didn't today? pull the ten of swords today. Oh, so it's not a back. So you can carry it in here for us. Okay, good. Because it's like this thick. It's a tome. Yeah. You creak it open, and some <laughs> old guy comes out to tell you about something. Back in my day. <laughs> I could go look real quick. Okay, but I mean, usually your rising is off with not having your time of birth. Usually that's the only thing that affects, but I've seen it affect the entire chart. Okay. Like once. So usually it's just your rising. So your moon is in Aries. Oh, another fire person, right? Aries is Ooh, fire? A double fire person. But your sixth house, which is that house of uh, Virgo, has Mercury and Sagittarius in it. So what, that does make see Mercury is about information. Put stuff in retrograde. Talking with people, helping people. Okay, okay. Uh, it's all of that about Virgo Holy moon cow. still fits you because you have Mercury in can, Virgo. Can you zoom out? And I want to show it on the screen what this looks like. Okay. So if we look at this, folks, you know what this reminds me of, Betsy? When we did, okay, no one can see it through the camera. It just looks like a white glob. When we did what? The symbol. Oh, there we go. The symbol. Symbol. Symbology. symbology. Yeah. Look at that. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So. Now, all these little signs mean the little thingies, right? The little, uh, the, the, the signs. Yep. The planets and the sign. So, like that sixth house, Virgo, you have the planet Mercury in it. And Sagittarius, Mercury and Sagittarius. Okay, okay. So the sixth house, what does the sixth house cover? It covers daily routine, environment, which is usually work, service to mankind, humanitarian type work with mankind. So it means I like to bullshit. I don't really get in and help someone, but that I will Mercury talk to Mercury and Sagittarius, <laughs> yeah, you know Sagittarius is. <laughs> so you talk like a Sagittarius, too. What? You like to talk a lot. <laughs> I do Hence not. About the podcast. And Sagittarius about, like, worldviews, Sagittarius rules, foreign culture, long-distance travel, higher learning, spirituality. He is a, he is a endless fountain of, of useless, useless knowledge. <laughs> See, that would be Mercury. Knows. In he knows, like, curious in the sixth house. Yeah, like, who's Genghis Khan? Timogen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what happened? Well, he conquered the world. Had the biggest empire ever. When? Uh, I was in. <sighs> was it a uh, fifteen or not fifteen? No, it would have been in. Why am I not remembering? It had been like around twelve to thirteen hundred. Yeah. See, this uh, only things that like historians well, would like lock away in a box. Genghis, he's not like useless information. I mean, he's the <laughs> he he has in the Asian community, in so in the continent of Asia, 
One in three people has his genes in them, his specific genes. And he keeps spilleth over. See that? See this? So he's Again. a very important one. <laughs> but in the Asian, so we're talking, we're talking. What is dad? All of Russia. Okay, dad is April uh, 7th? Yes. Uh, 1955. You want me to pull his chart? Yeah. Yeah, what's dad? Well, that'd be an interesting one. Okay. You think I talk. Yeah. He made us late for school every day. <laughs> All right. And then after this King, We got to find out if King's going to find him a good woman. Ooh, King wants to find him a good woman. And then Lori has a relationship question after that. Oh. Okay, where was your dad born? He uh, born right here in Tooele. Yeah. Oh, wow. Same place, same doctor as me and Betsy. That's oh, right. Wow. Dr. Johnson. Mhm. Mm okay, what was that birth date again? April 7th. 1955. And you guys, do you know what's his time of birth? Having a clue. Okay. He feels like an afternoon guy, but I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember his. I don't, yeah, I never do. So, oh, he could be a double Libra. His moon is in Libra. Okay. Rising maybe Libra. Um, your rising is what? Um, his is a big scribble. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mine kind of just made a lap. His, ooh, what's his sixth house? His sixth house, he has a son. Oh, did he love to help people? Oh, ever, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he probably really loved routine, helping people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fox News, 6 p.m. every night. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, in his ninth house, though, Sagittarius, he has Jupiter and Uranus. So Jupiter rules the ninth house. So he say he, say that again. Jupiter and what? Jupiter and Uranus. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like you're saying that incorrectly? There's so many ways to say it. Oh, Uranus. No, 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 no. Uranus. Your Uranus. anus. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Only way. <laughs> Your anus. So his ninth house. What is that? Yeah, what over. does that cover? That's uh, Sagittarius. Um, it is higher learning, um, spirituality, long distance travel, foreign culture. Okay. Did he live overseas at any point in his life? Mm, it, no. The furthest he's ever been, I think, is Washington, D.C. Uh, so he never even. He, w he would have liked that, like living in he, a different country. He probably would have. Yeah. Um, it just know. wasn't culturally wasn't what in happened in, the, yeah. in our family. No. Our grandfather hated to travel, so he oh. never traveled with his I, kids. I feel like your dad would have really loved Oh, yeah. Him. I'm sure he would have. Yeah. yeah I'm sure and he Ronald would have. is there in Jupiter. Yeah. I could see Conjunct. him loving that. Yeah. Grandpa, I think Grandpa enjoyed traveling when he was in the service. He enjoyed Japan a lot, but after that, he didn't want to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, he didn't want to. He wanted to stay home. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's find out if King. Okay. okay. King. If he's ever, that's kind of a big timeline, King. It's, like, we got to, like, narrow this down. Are you looking? Are you putting in the work? Ooh, yeah. Because let's say in the what's, next. What's the dating website that everyone goes to? Farmersonly.com. Stop. Don't go there. Why not? Best commercials in all the dating sites. That one where on the fishing boat and he has the ejector button for that <laughs> bougie girl and pops her off on the. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that commercial? Mm, oh, they're geez. on this fishing boat, and this bougie girl's all talking on her phone to her girlfriend and looking at her nails. And oh, he took me fishing, and oh, this is gross, and oh, there's Eject. a bug. And he's got, you know, you got on those bass boats, you got foot pedals to run a trolling motor. Not even a trolling motor, just a Off, an a, outboard, a light movement motor. And then he's got another button that says uh, a board or something. Mm -hmm. on it. <laughs> And finally, she get, he has enough. He clicks on that one, and the chair she's sitting on just shoots off, lands on this little island. and <laughs> I don't know. Favorite so, commercial. So open-ended questions. How yeah. does that work? Do you need so, to give it a timeline? I do like to put a time frame around it. Like, let's ask if you're going to meet someone in 2023, in okay. the next year. Ooh, 2023. In this year. In this year. Okay. This next year. We're not there yet, Jared. Don't jump the gun. He says, uh, he, he may be cursed. 
I've been putting some effort, but this situation with my father really has stopped me from going yeah. out on. Uh, what if you tried meeting a nurse in an eye surgery factory? <gasps> Huh? New doors are opening for you, King. I'm telling you, I should be a relationship advisor. You should. Is he going to? She's a nurse. <laughs> uh, you know, in the in this next year, what is it? Have you been going out and doing things to meet people? He said he used to, but he's been putting this effort into his dad's situation. Don't date girls with peacocks because that's not going to go well. Looks this violent. The central card is nervousness here and your anxiety uh, with people in dating and from mm, past relationships. I wouldn't know anything about that. So like you said, you think you're cursed, you feel like you're cursed, you should cut some cords. Yeah. Yeah. Past relationships especially cut cords with, with those. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there is a potential for somebody. There is there is a page of pentacles here. Yep. That's that is a guy uh, in underwear riding on a <laughs> stick of wood. So the girl could be younger. All excellent news. Mm, All I mean, King, you dirty dog. <laughs> unless you're like 21, and then we're going to be cutting it close if so she gets much younger. Leonardo Huecomundo. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lori wants to know mm. if Herbert. what will be his, her relationship. Or what will her relationship be like with her mom in 2023? Parent relationships are difficult. Mm. They're difficult. Have, have either of you read the book, The Four, the Four Agreements? So, you know it. You probably have. <laughs> I have read zero self-help books. So The Four Agreements talks about how we are given our life view from our parents and that the first thing we need to do is kind of break free of that to be mm. free. I mean, it looks okay. It looks like there can be some really good moments. Like there's going to be kind of a new um, leaf turned over between you two, but like the bottom card is the energies of maybe someone not being honest. Hmm. Between a mother and daughter that are both, you know, where the daughter's an adult. It's tough. That's a rough. On either side, yeah. It's a rough relationship. Because you know the dishonest part is probably there in protection on both sides. Mm -hmm. It's not dishonesty out of fear. There's a lot left unsaid. So it's like like dishonesty by omission almost in a lot of cases. Because you just, you know. You just don't want to say it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, have an issue. As a mom of adult children, sometimes I'm like, that was really stupid. But I don't say it. Mm. I don't say it. I do. But it it cut. There you are, Sagittarius. Critical, but right. Yeah. Once. But right. I never hesitate to say, how's the view? What do you mean the view? The view from where you're at. Where am I? Oh, you know, about four inches up your ass. Where you put your head? How's the view? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with mothers and daughters, um, and they tell each other a lot more than any guy tells anyone. Guys, just uh, we don't communicate like that. It's true. Ever, it's ever. True. Is there a male that kind of interferes with the relationship? Oh. Lori, is there a male that interferes? Of course there is. <laughs> Do we even need to ask that? Yeah, yeah, well, here he is, central. I mean, right here. Kind of causing a mess, yeah. It's a bastard juggling a lot of stuff, I'll tell you that right now. He's thinking about writing and dancing and a candle, eyes and lips. Right below him. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, King says, my ex was a nurse, amigo, but our age gap was crazy. Was she 25 and was at that time there, Leonardo? Does anyone understand my Leonardo reference? No. Leonardo DiCaprio. He snatches a girl when she's 19. She's on the clock. She hits 25. Pow. 19-year-old. Come on over. Oh, no. He's been doing that for years. He's known for it. Terrible. He's like 50 now. So Lori says, well, yeah, there is a, a male involved. 
I'm wondering, is the hold up because of the mail? And not That's to say kind of looks like ditch the mail, but maybe recognize that there may be some, some things fed into this situation. Set boundaries around that. Yes. Yeah. So you can build that. And you can't always change what other people do, but just knowing that this may be happening helps you to not take it so personally. That's, That's right. That's right. A little it's extra. being influenced by it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you know, she may be being fed. I like to start with a nice sweet tea because you can really drown that in Benadryl. <laughs> Get him out of the way for six or eight hours. Have a nice heart to heart. But the sun is here. See the sun? Very bright. Okay. So it's not all bad. It. Okay, double not the day quill it is. So it, it looks like it's going to be better than it has been. Yeah, and maybe, maybe just knowing the dynamic will help it to improve. Or it, because perception is everything. If you perceive it to be terrible, it is terrible. That's true. But if you can kind of see it from a 10,000 foot view and you perceive it to be improving, then it will improve. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh oh. What does that mean? I, I, I don't know. My bracelet broke. What does that mean? What is it oh. made of? It's probably got a bunch of uh, stones on it, huh? Yeah. Yep. Tigers. Oh. This is the one my daughter made me for Christmas. Oh, beautiful. Well, we will police it up and get that put back together <laughs> before. That is, uh, but another thing with relationships, just a little bit of uh, advice is if it's a relationship that's important to you, always treat it as if it's precious, as if the other person is precious, which means offer them as much forgiveness as you can and offer them as much as your, of yourself as you can and, and the temperance. Because uh, if, you're, if you're not doing that, it's not going to, or it will reflect you not doing that if you don't do that. Yeah. So if it's someone that you want, that you hold precious in your life, you know, treat them as if they are. Oh, Lori says she can remake that uh, that bracelet for you. Oh, thanks, Lori. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's jump back over, see what we got happening on the books. Uh-oh. Kendra wants to know. Uh, how many dating websites should she sign up on to? <laughs> that is not the question. Kendra, I can read. I am Kendra not a new at all. Kendra says, if I make four profiles on <laughs> farmersonly.com. <laughs> no, Kendra no, doesn't Ken have a question, right? She Kendra can't. says, dating websites and the Facebook dating groups are a joke. Same people, same obnoxiousness. Oh, yeah, I, I've never tried them just because I hear... The worst stories, horror stories. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's it's too easy to hide behind this the smoke screen that you create, the ego that you present. Um, and so nobody really gets to know anybody, sure. really. <laughs> and some people just don't even want to really get to know you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kendra wants to know what I'm drinking. It's called no. Liquid Wake Up. That was sarcasm. <laughs> but no, uh, mm. I don't know. I don't know how I single forever and never did dating websites. I wouldn't know. How do you talk to someone on the internet and date? Yeah. You, you don't just, really get to know them. You don't. Do you just like, like send messages send back yeah, and forth? It's, it's very, very shallow. And I believe that it is contributing to our population collapse personally mm. and i've been thinking about that a lot lately so i have too mm -hmm. we're gonna do another revamp show because i've been thinking about that so that'll be our next uh uh destruction of the world show yes but i don't think it has i think the dating website is a symptom of that Ooh, not could a be. cause could be all right lots of symptoms everyone let's thank moon uh, we will do one last carouse and see if something Before else Before we go, Moon, how do they get in contact with you? Yes, yes. For and a reading. Oh, and you can. Both local and online or FaceTime. Yep, local, online, Facebook. You can contact me through Facebook, through Messenger, or you can text me at my phone number, which is on my Facebook, 801. And, yeah, you can, if you're willing to give it out, go ahead and give it out. 
Why not? Well, uh, well, what I'll do is let's make him earn it a little bit. Her, the link to her Facebook will be on there on our show notes. Jump right on there. Look and see your Engage, schedule. Engage, like, yeah. yeah, follow. Oh yeah, yeah. Do all that stuff with us. But uh, Moon is awesome. I go up. I, I haven't been up there. I mean, I, I was up there what two weeks ago, but I hadn't been up there for months before that because I've just been busy. I've been working out of town. But I don't know. I enjoy going up there, taking a cruise through the shops. I the shops are really cool. Yeah, every time I go up there, I top, stop in two places. So I go see Dawn, and then I go see Moon. Sometimes I see Moon, then Dawn. Sometimes I wait on Dawn, hanging out with Moon. Either way, those are two places I go and just check in. You know, great people, mm-hmm. awesome place. But anyways, King says... He was not Leonardo. She was. Oh. King. He was, uh, he liked that older lady. <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't tried to move forward. And uh, that's what happens when things to- get really ugly. They, they leave a residual. And really, you owe it to yourself and your future partners to like get all that washed off. Like that get that true. figured out before you go. Giving it to others. Yeah, if you're yes. going to seek out a relationship, do the work on yourself. That's always yeah. a, a very yeah, like get, good notion. Get yeah. really clear mm-hmm. with with your baggage. Uh, and to get clear, you go through Dianetics. And you help with <laughs> <YouTube hands. laughs> and it's, you, you really go clear. You got to remove the thetans. Yeah, you got to get rid of the thetans and uh, and g- get in touch with Zeno. And, and it's a little expensive, but. Mm. Oh, well, the first time's not when you're starting getting up there. <laughs> for some reason it's a volcano involved I, di- I didn't make it that far anyways but thanks for joining us and uh have yeah. a great new year yes have a great new year everyone be safe we don't want any injuries any duis anything bad please uh like share comment um go check moon out on facebook yeah subscribe to us and go over to moon subscribe to her so you can schedule the readings over the phone. You can also, if especially if you're local, pop in there, say hi to her. She's a wonderfully sweet lady. She has a, a little office. You go in there and sit by a, 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 a voodoo doll. A voodoo doll that scares the shit right out of you. But you sit there and, and it's 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 just a wonderful place to be. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Have oh, a great week. Anytime.